This video is made possible by donations to the United States Lighthouse Society from people like you. Okay, so we're going to move on now to servicing animals. And get, of course, at many lighthouses, they had different types of things. Like Hillsborough had bees for a while. They had a chicken coop for a while. But we're going to start off with St. Croix River and the cows. Yes, St. Croix River Lighthouse, when the Smalls were there, Connie and Elson Small, uh, it was like a little farm. They had everything. They had chickens, they had beef cows, they had a milk cow. Uh, and the Coast Guard has a, a beautiful historical publicity photo of Elson Small milking Blossom the cow. <laughs> and she looks very contented. Yeah. Connie had, uh, she had chickens. She had, um, she had all kinds of animals. Her pet cat, um, um, Scotty. He looked like a Scottish terrier. That's why she named him that. Uh, she had a lot of pictures of him doing curious things. His favorite food was oysters, and Elson would get down on the flats and dig oysters and bring them in. Not so much for Connie and him, but to make sure that that Scotty the cat got some. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so you think about um, the subsistence on lighthouses. You get a delivery of supplies maybe every quarter, sometimes less, and it was not reliable. It depended on the weather and, and the sea and so forth. Um, it was good to have your own food, your own eggs, your own milk. Uh, Connie talked about all the things she did, making, making butter and uh, everything else. And she, um, she really felt like a farmer's wife living there. And then on top of it, they had this lighthouse to take care of it <laughs> way up in Maine at the top of our uh, northeastern New England. They were great people. I never met Elson. He was gone by the time I met Connie, but she wrote a book about her life, uh, <clears throat> The Lightkeeper's Wife. And uh, the stories in there are so rich and so it's just a tapestry of of lighthouse life as it was lived in the 20s and 30s and 40s. Is that book still available? I believe it is. Uh, certainly you can get it uh, uh, used mm -hmm. uh, from various booksellers. And I think uh, some of the lighthouses may sell it. Um, they're, they're trying to keep it in print. Uh, Connie lived to 102 or, or some ripe age. I went to her 100th birthday party, and she told me that the first 100 years of her life were so fun and so memorable, she hoped she lived another 100 years. <laughs> she, was, she was just a jewel. And talk about a cook. Um, the day John and I went to see her at her home, um, she made apple pie for us and homemade whipped cream and... <laughs> It was just mouth-watering. Yeah, That's some of the good. recipes. Uh, a, a cookbook, I think, is out about uh, things that that light keepers had to eat on their, their lights. But yeah, a little farm there. Mm -hmm. sure. Along those farming lines, you sent a lot of pictures of mules. Yes. Yes, I, I love mules. I grew up on a dairy farm in Maryland, and uh, my parents had a... <clears throat> They had mules and draft horses because it was a very hilly farm. And so you needed animals to pull the machinery. But mules are just an amazing equines. You know, you can't work them to death. You can work a horse until it collapses, but a mule is too smart for that. That's where it gets his stubborn <laughs> feature because uh, when he's had enough, he'll stop. And so they were, um, and also they were very sure-footed. Their eyes are set just a little further apart than the horses, so they can actually see their hind feet when they're walking. And uh, they're very strong, and very dependable. So the Lighthouse Service decided that mules were the perfect animals to send to lighthouses where there was, let's say, the, the big long tramway that led from the landing uh, 
up to the the lighthouse so they would would haul coal for the fog signal um, the big uh, boilers that had to be fired up with coal and the house might have been heated with coal they would haul the oil for the lanterns you know i think my most memorable stories of mules concern jerry the mule we don't have pictures of him i don't believe uh, but he was a typical mule. He was two years old when he was sent out to uh, Farallon Lighthouse. Uh, he helped with the construction, uh, hauling materials. Um, he also uh, hauled the first uh, drums of oil for the lanterns, hauled them all the way up to the lighthouse so uh, the lantern could be lit. He lived there his entire life, 30 years. Uh, they buried him on the island. And of course, there were big tears all around, not only the, the keepers and their families, but the crew of the supply tender, Madrono, I believe it was, that um, hauled, hauled uh, materials and supplies. Uh, he, was, he was quite the guy. He lived his whole life on Farallon, and he worked diligently. He, I think was the first keeper of Farallon Lighthouse, really. I mean, he didn't he didn't light the lamps, but he sure did all the things that were necessary to make it happen. And then there's Patty the Mule. We have lots of pictures of her. Uh, the O'Kane family and the Beeman family were at Farallon when Patty was sent out. And um, she was uh, she was quite the girl. She would uh, entertain the kids. They put straw hats on her. And, and ribbons around her neck. Uh, they'd ride her. Um, and then she did all the work of hauling and um, helping the keepers if they had heavy heavy loads or, or things they had to drag or haul. And the funny thing about her, Patty could hear very well, as all mules can, and this big, big ears. She could hear the whistle of the uh, supply ship as it was coming to Farallon Island. And when she heard that, she would head for the other side of the island because she knew they were going to harness her up to the tram and make her work. And she wasn't too keen to do that. I mean, it was it was always a, a kind of a rodeo for the kids to go catch her when it was time to <laughs> haul things from the supply ship. That's and awesome. She was she was uh, in all the family pictures. Uh, there's a picture of the family getting mail, and, and you see her, and she looks like she's wondering if she got any mail. Quite the girl, Patty the mule. <laughs>